so I joined the Air National Guard, Vermont Air National Guard, uh, back in 1980. And I, I would attribute my father for a lot of the reason why I became interested in the Air National Guard. So he was in high school during the Korean War. They activated a bunch of individuals and his basic training was actually right over here at 40th and Allen. So when I first started, uh, when I first joined the units after basic, basic training in tech school, uh, I had the opportunity to work on an EB-57. It was toward the end phase of the B-57. It was a lot of work, but for somebody who was young and eager, eager to get dirty, it was a perfect airplane to do that. Then I got a chance to work on the F-16s. One nice thing about being a crew chief is I took ownership of the, of the aircraft. Um, very rewarding to see the aircraft fly. When September 11th hits, that was a real measurement of our readiness because we were able to quickly go from a peacetime mission to basically a wartime mission. We had procedures down and all that training that, that we did came into fruitation. It, um, it really propelled us and prepared us to be able to take on a wartime mission and that's the whole thing about readiness, being, being prepared. And I can remember being launching aircraft at all hours of the, of the night and having the airplanes take off and it's like, this is real. We are, it's not practice anymore. Somebody came in and hurt us and we're going to defend ourselves. And that's what we're here for. It really brought the mission and, and the meaning why we're here really to a new light to me. So when I look at my career, now we have the F-35s, There's, it, it's really neat looking at how we've been able to progress from uh, the EB-57 all the way to fifth generation aircraft, the F-35. Um, but there was one thing that, that really made this, there's, there's, a, there's a parallel between all these different aircrafts and that's with uh, the Vermonters uh, being able to try to get the mission done. Uh, their hard work and, and you know, goal-oriented to, to mission accomplishment is really what carried us from aircraft to aircraft and uh, to me is the reason why we have the F-35 right now. You know, when we look at the F-35 and stuff, we look at uh, future missions that we just, we have to keep in mind what we're here for and that's readiness. Uh, we have to be ready not for the next deployment, we have to be ready for the next unknown things that happen. Um, like I said, 9-11 was a huge eye-opener and a lot of people coming in don't remember 9-11, so it's important that, uh, that we instill upon people that um, this actually happens and we need to uh, keep that, that readiness at the forefront of everything we do.